Hello America, it's Sean Bianca, GOP girl with Clean TV Live. Well, I thought I wouldn't really have anything to talk about after a Donald Trump win, but you know what? As luck would have it or wouldn't have it, I have plenty to talk about. Has anyone lost any friends during this election? No, that's, that's a stupid question, right? Well, I just have to say, because I think many of us are in the same boat. I had a few friends that were in a silent minority and they must have been supporting Hillary Clinton. Notice I said a silent minority. The Trump side had the silent majority because the media had intimidate, intimidated people and made people feel like if they spoke out and said, I support Donald Trump, that they would be called a racist. That was all the media is doing because it had nothing to do with that. Donald Trump is not a racist. So the Trump side had the silent majority. Hillary's side had the silent minority. Yes, so election day, I had one friend call me and she wanted to tell me, well, you know, I, I didn't vote, you know, but hey, you know, you did all you could, Sean, and you just have to accept the results. And of course, I was a nervous wreck, and I, you know, said, you know, I just can't believe anybody would vote for Hillary. Now again, I didn't know she was voting for Hillary. I kind of think she did. And I just spoke out and said, you know, the woman's a criminal. She did this, she did that, this and that. Well, guess what? Where is that friend? <laughs> I have not heard a peep from her. <laughs> I have texted her. I have called her, not to gloat, because it's not really gloating if the person didn't admit that they were voting for Hillary. I had another friend of mine, same thing. Actually, no, this was a guy I went out with a couple of times and he's Mr. Wall Street. And he was acting like he was not a Hillary supporter. Well, well, well. He was telling me about a couple months ago that he knew somebody on the inside with the Democrats and that he knew about 18 women were gonna come forward and say that they had been somewhat sexually harassed by Trump. And of course it was all made up, but he knew and he just knew that Hillary was gonna win. And oh, Sean, you know, I think it's great all you're doing, but you know, you're doing it all for naught. <laughs> so election night, 2.30 AM, actually no, before then I texted him and said, so, <laughs> it looks like Trump may pull this out. Looks like that silent majority came out. Looks like a Brexit. I haven't heard a peep. <laughs> Not a word. I texted him, said it was a Brexit in the United States. It was a Trexit. Have not heard a word from him. Texted him the next morning thinking, well, maybe my text got lost in the shuffle. Nope. <laughs> Nothing. Looks like Mr. Wall Street was a Wall Street Hillary guy. So you know what? If, I, if, if any of you out there have friends that have disappeared and suddenly fallen off the face of the earth, don't feel badly. It's happening to many of us. I guess my feeling is, you know, hey, four years ago, eight years ago, I mean, did I walk away from friends because Obama won again? Because Obama won, period? No, which brings me to the protesters. Hey, four years ago, eight years ago, did we see Republicans protesting in the streets? No, we didn't. We accepted it and we just trudged through. And you know what we did? We worked hard to make sure that we would get a Republican in the White House. And we did. Instead, the Democrats, because of the Hillary Clinton campaign, they paid people, we know from Veritas, they paid people to protest to disrupt Donald Trump's rallies. And I have a hunch that we're paying people now to show the rest of the world that 
Oh, there are so many people upset they're protesting in the streets. In California, I saw one man say that they were going to secede and they were going to become their own country. You know what? Go. Just go. If that's the way you feel, go. We don't want you. Hollywood, we don't want you. Miley Cyrus was supposedly going to leave the United States. I wish she would. I mean, seriously. The girl went from an adorable little girl that I, I teach tennis. I used to have little girls that used to look up to her. That was before she started parading with things in front of her hoo-ha and sticking things up her hoo-ha and sticking things out of her chest. I mean, I don't care. Miley, go. I mean, oh, wait, I, I have a list of the Hollywood stars. Yes, and, and we have Lady Gaga. Oh, that's a woman I'm going to respect. I'm really going to respect that her opinion. Lady Gaga has started a petition to have Hillary Clinton put in the White House. We have Katy Perry that is telling people to fight uh, and saying a revolution is coming. Uh, we have Lindsay Lohan that is demanding a recount. Lindsay Lohan, Miss Bipolar Lohan. <laughs> Do you really think we care? Uh, we have Alyssa Mil Milano that wants to know where a protest is so she can protest. Uh, I mean, there's a Hollywood has-been. We have Jamie Lee Curtis, another Hollywood has-been. Uh, she's saying she has a relative in Chicago that's protesting and, you know, she wants, she's calling for more protests. I mean, you know what, Hollywood? And, and Cher, she was going to leave. And you know what? I, I believe it was, yeah, Sean Hannity said he would pay for their tickets. I wish they would go because the Kardashians, Jay-Z, Beyonce, this country is literally going to you know where in a handbasket because these are people that are not to be respected. And the protesters right now, they're, they're burning the flag, that are calling for the assassination of Donald Trump. You know what? I heard that people that made comments like that on Facebook against Obama, the FBI showed up at their house. You know what? Each and every person that is in the streets of the several cities that are protesting, if they say they want to assassinate Donald Trump, the police should pick them up and throw their butts in jail. End of story. If they're burning the flag, I'm sorry. You know what? Get out. Most of the, Calif most of the California protesters are illegal immigrants anyway, living in sanctuary cities. You know what? Go. If you don't like America, then go. This is a democracy. Over 60 million people voted for Donald Trump. They're saying that Hillary got the popular vote. Look at the map. With the, everyone's seen the picture that Donald Trump got more coverage in the United States than Verizon. So I don't really buy it. But nonetheless, Donald Trump, he won fair and square. He had so many votes that the Democrats could not rig the system. And Dennis Miller tonight said, he said it best. He said, you know what, to the protesters, what difference does it make? Great line, Mr. Dennis Miller, great line. And that's the way I feel. I mean, I'm sorry. My mother has a friend that's daughter was wearing a Trump t-shirt today and a boy spit on her t-shirt at college. That boy should be suspended. I mean, what, what are we dealing with? And then I read that, that we have colleges that are paying for pizza because the kids are depressed because Hillary wasn't, she wasn't elected president. Give me a flipping break. I didn't get any perks when Obama was elected president. If you don't think I wasn't depressed, I was. I was very depressed. I had campaigned night and day for Mitt Romney. I mean, <laughs> really? Get over it. Put on your big boy pants. Put on your big girl panties. And you know what? Why don't you not pick a common criminal to run for your party, because that's what we're talking about. And I really don't understand every single Bernie Sanders supporter 
that actually voted for Hillary Clinton when they know that she stole the election from him. Yeah, I, I, I just, I don't get it. Next, I want to say Chris Matthews. I want, I have to say something about Chris Matthews. The guy, in my opinion, is completely nuts. I mean, during the Obama election, he had that tingle running down or up his leg. I don't know where, which way, I don't really care, but he had a tingle. And the night before the election, Chris Matthews, who had a couple weeks ago upon, the rumor was that Chris Matthews got word of Hillary Clinton being part of a massive international pedophilia sex trafficking ring, and that's what the New York Police Department apparently found with Anthony Weiner, and apparently that's when Chris Matthews jumped ship. However, Chris Matthews, the night before the election, was calling Hillary president, and he was talking about how do you want to be the woman in X amount of years that has to look at her daughter and say, oh, I supported a man that said this and that. Well, Chris Matthews, <laughs> Donald Trump won. <laughs> and I just love the fact that the liberal based media was wrong. Yes, Megyn Kelly still hasn't gotten over it. Fox News had Juan and Chris Wallace, and they were actually, they were arguing with one another election night. It's very, very funny. Donald Trump won. And you know what? Everybody, everybody needs to accept that. And as far as uh, the first woman president, you know, Someone today who went to both the Democrat and the Republican conventions, she said, she asked people at the Democratic convention, the women, why are you voting for Hillary? Oh, because she's a woman. Because she's a woman. That was it. Now, if I'm a woman running for the presidency, I want someone to choose me on what I stand for. Not just because. I'm a woman and I think that's the problem. You had people that had no clue what Hillary Clinton stood for. Someone today said to me, oh, well, you know what? Donald Trump didn't talk about the issues. That's why I voted for Hillary. I didn't hear Hillary talk about the issues once. I, I, I still don't know what she stood for. And did it really matter? Because we all learned from WikiLeaks that what she says to her supporters and what she does are two different things. So really, it doesn't matter what Hillary Clinton had to say. Anyway, it's over. It's over. And what I have to say to the protesters and to the college students that are crying, that are burning whatever, burning their cities down, and they're probably being paid because they're trying to make a statement. And Hillary, I have no doubt, is behind it because she wants to make a statement. Well, you know what? 56% of white women supported Donald Trump. Over 60 million Americans supported Donald Trump. Donald Trump won the election. And everybody needs to stand by, stand up, and support him. I, as a Republican, had to stand up and support President Obama. And I did that, and I wasn't happy about it. But you didn't see me going out into the streets and burning flags. You didn't see me going out to the media and saying I wanted to assassinate Obama, and I didn't call for a revolution. No. I hoped and I prayed that the Republicans would elect a candidate that could win the next presidential election. And he did. And that's what the Democrats need to do. They need to find a candidate that's worthy of being our president. And Hillary Clinton was not worthy of being our president. So, at any rate, everyone, sorry about the friends, but you know what? A fair weather friend isn't really a friend at all. And I happen to think 
we have just chosen one of the greatest presidents the United States will ever have. And he may be the greatest because he'll make America great again. Thanks for watching. This is Sean Bianca with Clean TV Live. You can like my Facebook page, GOP Girl, and you can read my blog at www.gopgirlblog.blogspot.com. Have a great night, everybody. Bye.